hold on let me move this just have to see my nails in there okay if you want like more glitters you can absolutely add one more coat but I just want really hints of it and then I will add um, butterflies on it but i'm telling you if you have your nails done like this it's not only make you feel so good also it's impressed so much of your clients they see that doesn't matter they might pick one of your nails as this um nail art on their nails because they can see that you wait in person so i'm so excited with this probably this is uh, i think this is a set of First set, the only set that I have with no like bling out crystal. I almost like show everyone I remove it and feel this, but then we let it surprise for its upcoming uh, arrivals. But crystal is still on my nails, even though I remove it, it still stay really, really strongs on it so I move that just a little bit of shimmery is hollow so if the client wants it you don't have to worry about if you don't have like for instance color acrylic glitters uh, or if you don't have a like shimmery look like this this is perfect. And if the clients don't want anything else, you cure it, it's good to go because there's no wipe. You don't have to do anything else. So I'm gonna probably doing it 30 seconds. And then I will pick some of this. I put this two butterflies, but you can do different colors. You can do pink, you can do blue. These two are really stunning as well. You can do it together. And then pink. This one is like her pink yellows. And then this one is has like pink. Super cute. I picked this for the fall, but you can do anything. It doesn't have to be. And then it's on the pinky. I using two little ones there. So it's gonna be really fun, simple. Sorry, Instagram, I think I got it off Instagram right here. Pink, okay, good. All right, so we're gonna choose this. I'm gonna take this one. The biggest one. Can you see it like that? Feel better? Yeah? Using my tweezers, one end I pick and remove the sticker off from that sheet, and the other end I can like press it firm to make sure that it's staying on. It's fun to do your own nails, it's kind of a little bit challenging because. If you first or if you start doing it, you might feel like, okay, so I'm gonna line them up like to each other. But it's so much fun because you not only take care of yourselves, get your nice, nice nail done, and also a lot of fun things that you uh, go discover when you're doing your nails. Some new techniques you learn. Maybe I see it like that. So it's really like stay grip amazing on that. All right. Cool. And then I'm going to put pumpkin spice on this. 
like that one. But if you can, if you don't want it, you can put any colors on. You can put green. You can put brown or black colors. Doesn't matter. And let's go into the smaller one. I got smaller. Let me see if I'm looking for the smaller one. I'm getting from here. Let do that. A little bit tricky. Really nice with that smaller one. Got another smaller one. It's gonna be so much fun. It looks like a big. Do you have another one smaller? Can you find me the smaller one in here? The, um, oh, I found one. Mm -hmm. I found one from this collection. Uh, not quite. That's one. I'm gonna take this, the newest one, right there. It's so much fun when you do this and the clients see it. They will definitely like, oh my God, I want, and you have the nice nails done. Clients see it. They're absolutely excited about this. And this tweezers is everything. Look, it's staying flat on it. And then I will show you how you can able to absolutely keep your butterflies with no like edges coming off. Well, we did have a top coat, shimmery top coat on first, so it's not only give it effects of underneath. I don't want to put it over on the top of the butterfly. It's going to make it a little bit too um, busy. You want to see some detail from butterflies. So I did it underneath, and also if a really good uh, purpose of keep them nice and smooth surface, so then when you place your um, sticker on it, it will not give you a hard time. So let me see, it's going that way. You don't have to get a match, uh, you don't have to get matchy matchy, you can do mix and match, you can do different colors on the different hands, or you can do different, um, like totally colors you don't have to do this kind of a fall look okay that's going that way hold on do i miss any color Hey, nay, nay. Hey, thank you, nay, nay. That's it. Super simple, easy. Let me see, what did I do with that? All right, so I'm going to save this one instead of getting another half of the butterflies but I will do this butterfly because a lot of you request to see a 3D handcraft flower so here you go we absolutely is going to do that with our um, metal art butterflies a little bit of flat 3D so now I am go ahead and using condensed glue gels this is everything it will keep your sticker it doesn't matter your stickers um anything or encapsulating 
stay in one place so I am going to need my tinted brush my forever tinted brush is I have it for a long time thanks to the caps of the brush so it keep my um, brush is staying nice and it's protected from getting um, like here under LED light so it's kind of I think it's enough so I'm gonna apply this one too I am going to do two at the same time because I want to lie up that two butterfly to get half of it make it look like a butterfly together two half I guess Well, if you are doing with the clients, you can do like four, three of them together, but try to do this one last or do this one, the thumb first, and then you can do the rest um, after because you don't want to have uh, all five of them done at the same time because this one, when it's like laying on this, is might shifting a little bit. The crystal might shifting a little bit during the time you're doing it, so. Close that, and I will need no wipe top coat. If you now, if you do matte finish, you can go ahead and put the matte top coat on. But if you want shiny, then you go ahead and do shiny. Here's a matte. So if you don't want matte, then you do shiny. If you want, you know, like shiny, then don't do matte. Oh, hey, Adela, thanks so much. Thank you, thank you. Where's my top coat dot? No. Open it. Oh, I guess. So you're just folding, floating on the top of the condensed, Ankea condensed glue gel. So I will do the top coat on the second one and third ones right after I finish with crystal placement. So I'm gonna get pumpkin spice and some of my frame from metallic disc frame to make it like her antenna. Hi Fire, how are you? Hey, hey, hey. So I have it right here. I don't know where it's, I'm at. So I will get size SS12. It's not the biggest one, but the good size for oh, super cute. I think it's size SS12. Let me see how many I put on. So totally six. Just put it right in the edges right there. And I'm gradually getting the size smaller, size S, S, 12, 10, 8, and then like. Six, eight, six. It doesn't matter whatever size you want. You can do a bigger one. Absolutely, it looks super cute though. Now that I have too much crystal, too many crystals, or too much blue. All right, I think I got that right. And then if you want her, I'm gonna do a shorter right there to matching with this. So great. I am going to do a no wipe top coat again. 